this this will be the last question and it'll go to both of you to senator obama first the more i speak to democrats out there not only the democrats here at the kodak theater but all over the country they take a look at the two of you and they see potentially a dream ticket a dream ticket uh, for the White House. been some nasty words exchanged or angry words or whatever but uh, the question is this would you consider an Obama Clinton or Clinton Obama ticket going down the road well obviously there's a big difference between those two so, uh, but, but look the uh, uh, let me say this uh, and I said this at the top uh, I respect Senator Clinton I think her service to this country has been extraordinary uh, and I'm glad that we've been wa walking on this road together and that we're still on that road. Uh, we've got a lot more road to travel. And uh, so I think it's premature for either of us to start speculating about vice presidents, et cetera. I think it would be premature and presumptuous. I can say this about, uh, about who I want, not just as vice president, but as a cabinet member. Part, part of what I'd like to do is restore a sense of what is possible in government. And that means having people of the, of, of the greatest excellence and competence. It means people with integrity. It means people with independence who are willing to say no to me uh, so that uh, you know, no more uh, yes men or women in the White House uh, because I'm not going to be right on every single issue. Uh, but you know, it, it, it is really important, I think, uh, for us also to give the American people this sense as they are struggling with their mortgages and struggling with their health care and trying to figure out how to get their kids in a school that will teach them and prepare them and equip them for uh, this century, that they get a sense that government's on their side, that government is listening to them, that it, it's carrying their voices into the White House. And that's not what's happened over the last seven years. Uh, and whether it's my cabinet or it is the lowest federal civil servant out there, I want them to understand they are working for the American people to help the American people achieve their dreams. That's the reason I'm running for president so of the United States of America. Is, is, is the answer yes? Is that, it sounds like a yes, that she would be on your short list. <laughs> oh, I, the, uh, I, I, you know, I'm sure Hillary would be on anybody's short list. So. All right. What about Senator Clinton? What do you think about a Clinton-Obama, Obama-Clinton ticket? Well, I have to agree with everything Barack just said. Um, <laughs> That means it's this, a yes, right? This has, this has been um, an extraordinary campaign, and I think both of us have been overwhelmed by the response that we have engendered, the kind of enthusiasm and intensity that people feel about each of us. And so clearly, we are both dedicated to doing the best we can to win the nomination. But there is no doubt we will have a unified Democratic Party. We will go into the November election prepared to win. And uh, and, and I, I want to just add that, you know, on Monday night, I'm going to have a national town hall, an interactive town hall. It will be carried on the Hallmark Channel and on my website, HillaryClinton.com, because I know you had tens of thousands of questions. What about my website? And you, yeah. <laughs> I want your folks to participate, too. And it's going to be across the country, Monday night at 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock uh, here on the West Coast. And so all right. for all those who didn't get their questions asked or answered, please log on, turn on, and continue to be part of this really, right. really exciting all election right, for right, senators, both of us. Uh, here's the bottom line. We do the plugs here. Uh, <laughs> You guys can do the plugs out on the uh, campaign trail. That, that has to end our, our conversation this evening. I want to thank both of you for coming very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Senator Barack Obama, Senator Hillary Clinton. Uh, stay with CNN for continuous uh, 40 hours of election coverage coming up on Super Tuesday. That's next Tuesday, February 5th, beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern. And get this, if the Democratic and Republican races are not decided on that important day, CNN, in conjunction with the Ohio Democratic and Republican parties, plan to bring you another round of back-to-back -back presidential debates from the critical battleground state of Ohio.
that for those debates on February 27th and February 28th. We want to thank our debate partners tonight, the Los Angeles Times and Politico, along with everyone here at the Kodak Theater and the people of Los Angeles. I'm Wolf Blitzer, not a CNN fan. Thank you very much. And there it is, the Kodak moment tonight at the Kodak Theater. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, along with supporters and surrogates, celebrities, and people who came just to be part of history. You can see uh, people going to the stage, trying to shake hands with Senator Obama and Senator Clinton as well. There are Chelsea Clinton as well. Uh, an audience filled with celebrities, as one uh, probably not surprise anybody with the Democratic Party, giving off a lot of tickets to... Uh, to big-name celebrities who are in the audience uh, there at the Kodak Theater in Hollywood tonight. An electric evening uh, in probably one of the most anticipated primary debates in recent presidential history, at the very least. One way or another, the Democratic Party will make history nominating either the first woman or the first African-American as its candidate. Who is it going to be, though? Of course, is anybody's guess. The polls are tightening. The campaigning now a sprint to Super Tuesday. And Democrats in 22 states make their choice for Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Tonight was their last chance to score points one-on-one, -on -one. their first chance to go against each other one-on-one. -on -one. We have a lot of analysis to come. First, let's take a look at the highlights as we continue to look at the crowd. CNN's Candy Crowley joins us now. Candy? Well, Anderson, you know, I hope we go back and take that final picture as both Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama stood up after this debate was over. Uh, basically, they were in a hug at some point. They both decided going into this uh, that the arguing and the bickering, which had really reached a high intensity level prior to coming here, was not going to help either one of them uh, going into Super Tuesday.